Africans was published, Africans had been using it for centuries before that. Did African fractals have an impact on the world? Yes, through a mathematically related fortune telling system. You're doing these random lines, you're counting them off, drawing all these lines in sand. If there's an even number, you put down two strokes. If there's an odd number, you put down one stroke. And when I went to these folks and asked them if they could tell me more about it, they said, nah, this is a secret. I can't tell. So I had to go through the initiation ritual to become a Abomina divination priest. So what I found was that back in the 12th century, this system went up into Europe and it was taken up by the alchemists. Now Leibniz, the German mathematician, when he invented the binary code, he was actually studying this system. And then it goes from Leibniz to George Boole, creating Boolean algebra. Boolean algebra gets turned into hardware by John von Neumann. That's the birth of the digital computer. So all those little ones and zeros running around in all of our digital circuits really start with that African origin. <laughs> Oh, God.